Okay, welcome. Today we're shooting some Nike shoes. But first I'd like to thank today's sponsor, the coffee supporters, the members and patrons on this channel. Thank you for making these videos possible. What are we shooting today? Well, we are shooting some Nike shoes. One up there and the other one is hanging here. This bad boy is in the way. Probably I should put on the first light so it will not be so dark in here. Because this huge softbox, 6x4, it will the whole room. So let's put it on. Lights on. Very bright. Nice. One, two, three fishing lines. C stands, gaffa on the, on the shoe. And you know, as I always say, difficult part with photography is not how you light the stuff. It's how you attach them when you like to hang something like a shoe. Why do I have this huge softbox? Well, I'm lazy. When you're doing like this, you will get light all around and then you just block with a black card. Then this will be the frame. We can take a shot. First time on the channel, we are shooting with the R5C and we will see. The quality of the images will be very interesting. We put on the air remote that will talk to this Profoto D2 flash. And also we have 100 millimeter macro lens Canon. And I also attached a pocket wizard for the, the trigger port on the camera. And then I should have another one. I have it in my pocket, a pocket wizard in the pocket. I want to add a bit on another video I just made about this. I talked about how you can trigger the camera like, like that and um, how good it is. And then I got some comments on why don't you use your phone, you know, trigger via Bluetooth. Absolutely. And it's free, you know, this costs a lot of money. And it works, but I will show you in a, well, maybe I can show you right away. Otherwise, I will forget. I will put it in the pocket. I always have it here. And then we will open EOS Utility 3 today. And we click remote shooting. And we're shooting at 1 one sixty of a second, F14, ISO 400 today. Let's take a shot. There you are. Done. Let's go home. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those gradients. So fantastic and beautiful. I was talking about the Pocket Wizard. Why it's so good. It's not about the live view composition. That's also fantastic, of course. And let's put on the live view. I have my big, huge TV here and I see everything so nice. I really would like to show you this. Ooh. Look, huge. So the Pocket Wizard, you're standing. Hi. And uh, often, I'm tweaking the light. Let's say that we feel like there is too much light under here. And I would like to tweak it a bit. And often I'm standing like this. And now, okay, where's my phone? Starting the app, maybe went to sleep. Maybe the battery goes out. Maybe someone's phoning you. I mean, instead of that hassle with a phone, so easy and it always works. So I just want to add that mainly it's when I'm setting up the lights. Often I use both hands and then just click, click, adjusting, click. Okay, pocket wizards. So what's next? Well, I just put up this huge six by four, a black card, and I took some C stands, fishing lines, and I, chose to have in this angle. I think it's very beautiful, especially this gradients going on over here. This part I just love. But as you see, we have very low contrast in this shot. And that's because we're aiming light straight into the camera, you know. So that's why I have this guy. So let's put this down and you will see the difference. The closer you put this guy to the product, the 
more contrast you will get. And let's take a shot. You see, you increase the contrast so much. Crispiness. So this is something you really need to have. Black flag with a hole. Before, when I was testing out a bit, I actually have more light under the shoe, but I wonder, I think this is actually nicer. I have a bit highlight on the top here, and then it goes into darkness, and we have a bit of light here. And this part I just absolutely love. And on the top, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. We're losing the Nike swoosh here. It's okay. What's next? Well, we have another shoe. Now we need to figure out how we should place this guy. My first idea was to show the front because now we see we see under and then probably it's nicer to do something like this. Let's take a shot. It's a bit low now. Something like that. We can up this guy a bit. Maybe around there. Let's take another one. Yeah. You see on this side it's kind of flat and boring and I don't really like that. So what I did, instead of attaching more fishing lines to this one, because I'm a bit lazy, I just, and it's a good way to find the, the best angle, I start to spin this shoe. And then I shoot. And suddenly I feel like, huh, I like this one better. <laughs> this is kind of cool actually. And that one, Away. Take away the finger. Oh, stop. I wonder if this is the angle or not. What about this angle? Yeah, it's also kind of cool. What about this? What about that? What about the, oh, that. What was that? <laughs> Something fell. <laughs> I was so scared. You need to decide what composition you won't like to have. Well, if you're shooting for a client, they will decide for you. But now we're shooting for the portfolio and we need something very unique and something eye-catching, you know? So what can we do? Well, maybe I will add like a AI background. Yes, I tried that yesterday actually, but I wasn't sure if I should go for that. It will trigger the YouTube algorithm for my channel if I add AI in the title. So maybe I will do this. But the main thing about this is to show you how easy it is to put up backlight and having a board, hang up the shoes and find the right power. Actually, now I'm going for full power, 500 watt second flash. So it's full blast. Um, like I always say, there's never enough power with like a 500 watt second flash. Because if you look at this um, ISO 400, but it's not a problem with this new cameras, of course. Because I want to have a bit more depth of field, because I will not focus stack this one. Of course, it's best to focus stack it you know, take multiple photos so everything will be sharp. Both shoes will be perfectly sharp in the shot. But then you need to rig them up so they're completely still. Now this they're kind of wobbling a bit, walking around doing this tutorial. So, but you can do that, of course, but we're not focus stack today. And if you don't have a big one, you can put one, two, three. Actually, you need to have four lights four flashes and soft boxes, strip boxes, kind of a hassle. So if you invest in a huge soft box, this is absolutely the right way to do it. It's a good way to do it. Uh, if you're lazy like me, up with one big soft box, boom, done. So let's drag it into Photoshop. And uh, what I will probably do Hue saturation, kill all the use hue saturation, I mean all the saturation, all the color, and then add a curve to this. Because we still don't have that much of contrast, so I would maybe just add a S curve to this. Something like that. 
and then I will cut them out if I want to add another background and we can take a look in I was creating a mid journey background I was playing around and I think it would go for this one this crazy explosion and here you can see the prompt powder explosion photography in pink and yellow on a black background aspect ratio three by two and here's the seed number if you like to get exactly the same and try out but you can play around with this and this is another one this is kind of cool too so probably for the thumbnail i will make this powder explosion but uh, this is just for you know youtube now you know how to light, how easy it is to light a shoe. So there we are, very quick tutorial, simple light, backlight, black flag, two shoes. Just make sure that it's not too bright somewhere or maybe it should not blend into the background. You want to have separation from the black. If shooting black and black, you really would like to have as much as a rim light, if you will, you know around the shoe so it will be separated and make sure it's not too bright at certain spots if it's too bright like this heel is closer to the light then just put up a black card and block that light you know and uh, if you like to join support this channel like the coffee supporters here as a member join button or go to patreon if you can't join here on youtube and as always I will see you next time.